we can go ahead and take a look, which I explained last class period. Let me actually write it up here because it's going to take some work. 3 of 5x cubed. What we can do is, again, another app process is we can take the log of both sides. Because as of right now, in just y, when you guys are just looking at this y, do we, have we gone over anything as far as taking the derivative of a base 3 raised up there? No, if it was base e, we won't have to do this, right? We could easily just take the derivative using the chain rule. But a base 3, we don't have anything for that, correct? So we could take the ln of both sides. And this is what I was explaining in last class period. So just look at that as an option. Because now, now I can take the derivative of this. Um, I can bring this 5x cubed down. So that's my power. So I can bring that 5x cubed in front. And then I have ln of 3, which remember ln of 3 is a constant, right? ln of a number is a constant. So basically, all we're doing is taking the derivative here of this, of this using the power rule, which isn't that bad. We have to take the derivative of here, which is 1 over y times dy dx equals 15x squared times the ln of 3. Does everybody follow me? Then I need to get rid of the y, so I'll multiply a y on both sides. So dy dx equals, put the ln of 3 in front, ln of 3 times 15x squared. And then y is 3, 5x cubed. And that's it.